Don't pick your skin, big bandage. Okay, so hopefully this is good. Is this good? Hi guys, it's my face story here, and today I am coming at you with a video that is very near and dear to my heart in a bunch of ways. Today I want to talk about the top five, or I guess my top five, acne myths debunked. Um, over the past few years, I've had pretty severe acne, and I've had people say some kind of, kind of a little bit ridiculous things to me. So I figured I would take a moment to debunk those right here, right now. The first acne myth, <laughs> which has been told to me by my parents, my husband, um, my friends, don't worry and it'll just go away. This is wrong for so many levels, so many reasons. Um, but of course stress does cause acne, so yeah, relaxing a little bit might help your skin. But you can't just stop thinking about it and it'll go away. There's so many other factors, hormones, diet change, stress, well, yeah, stress levels, uh, what you're putting on your skin could have toxic, toxicities, toxicities, yeah. What you're putting on your skin could have toxicities in it, or you could be doing things that you don't even know are disrupting your hormones. There's just like so many things to think about. So I actually recommend the opposite. Um, keep a food journal. See if you break out after you eat certain things. See if you break out after you wear certain makeup or do certain activities. Um, that is what has really helped me to narrow down how my skin works and things that trigger my skin. I think not worrying about it is kind of like the opposite of what you should do. Obviously, say la vie because um, if there's not anything that you can do about it, like, you know, this is hormonal. I know I'm always going to get a couple breakouts. That's fine. But I don't think that you should just not think about it and think that is going to make it go away because it's, it's just not how it works. It's not how it works. The second myth that we're busting, we're myth busters. We are on myth busters today, is that dirty skin causes acne. Dirty skin does not cause acne, okay? Um, acne is called <laughs> acne is a genetic condition, so you are already predisposed to having it. So acne in itself isn't actually caused by dirt. Hygiene has very, very little to do with that. Um, it's not caused by dirt, and most of the time, us acne sufferers actually end up overcompensating on the products and overwashing our faces and using all these harsh toners and cleansers and masks and eye serums and literally everything in the whole world. And what that does, that actually makes your skin more sensitive, more dry, and more prone to breakouts. So for the most part, acne sufferers actually have the opposite going on. We think that our face is undeady because we're breaking out, but uh, it's not undeady, it's just too much product. I don't know where that accent came from, but we're gonna go with it. But yeah, I mean, if I just wash my face, like people say, just wash your face. If I just wash my face with every drugstore, over-the-counter, homemade, hippie bot cleanser, and I still have acne, then I don't really think acne is a dirt problem. I think it starts in deeper than that, and dirt has nothing to do with it. The third acne myth is that makeup causes acne. Okay, makeup does not cause acne. It can aggravate the symptoms of acne, but makeup itself does not cause acne because if you think about it, there are tons of people who wear makeup who don't have acne. So if it caused acne, wouldn't everyone who wore it have acne? Makeup can aggravate your skin if it has certain chemicals in it, certain fragrances, uh, hormone disruptors, things like that. You know, if it's not natural. And also another big thing is getting it all off at the end of the day because if you don't remove all of it, tiny micro particles that you can't see to the naked eye can get lodged into your skin. So you really wanna make sure if you are wearing makeup that you completely, completely remove it at the end of the day. So makeup in itself does not cause acne. It can aggravate it, but it doesn't cause it, okay? My advice would be to see if it's causing, you know, aggravation or not. Give yourself a little break. Why not? Give yourself a couple makeup-free days during the weekend just to see if, you know, your skin is doing any better. Or try switching out to a more natural foundation to see if that works better for you or non, I don't even know how to say it, non-comedomic, non-com, non-pore clogging. <laughs> that makeup also should be very good for acne sufferers. But it's kind of this thing where you're like, I have a pimple. I don't want to go out without foundation, but I don't want to wear foundation because then what if I get more pimples? So it's kind of a vicious cycle. Um, only if the makeup is actually irritating your skin though. 
Makeup in general does not cause acne. Myth number four, <laughs> the sun makes your acne go away. Okay, so long story short, I used to be really, really addicted to tanning, like scary addicted, like I was not, I was not normal, I was, I, it, nothing about it was good, it did not look normal. So I went like every single day because it helped, I thought, clear up my skin. What it was really doing though, what tanning actually does, is kind of mask it with the tan so that your spots in the inflammation is less noticeable. But the acne itself can actually get worse by the sun because your skin's getting dried out, which can cause acne because dehydration. And then also your skin is going to be more predisposed to skin cancer and early signs of aging and stuff like that. So what I tried doing instead was using the Neutrogena, I can't freaking talk today. What I tried doing instead is using the Neutrogena Light Therapy Acne Mask and I really, really, really love that. It's UV free, it has red light and blue light. Um, red light, I think, is supposed to target the acne and blue light helps to promote like collagen production. So it's like all in one, chemical free, completely natural. I really, really like it. Sometimes when I get bigger spots like these, um, I'll put it on. You only wear it for like 10 minutes. Other than that, if you do choose to go out in the sun, some of my favorite products are the Koala BB Tint uh, Mineral Sunscreen and another one is the Neutrogena Breakout Free Sunscreen. Myth number five. Yes, we made it to number five. And this one, this one is a little, a little unknown, um, but I think it's pretty interesting. So myth number five is that acne is curable. Acne in itself is an ongoing disease, a condition that can last for anywhere from a couple months to a couple years that lives on and underneath the skin. If you have acne, you are genetically predisposed to getting it. Acne itself, is not curable. There is no one cure for acne. As far as all of us know in 2017, there's all these creams and washes and all these products, but there is no specific cure for acne. If you want to say Accutane, no, because guess what? I took Accutane and I still break out, so there is no cure for acne. The thing is, you have to live your whole life treating your skin as if it were acne prone. And just because there's not a cure doesn't mean that you should give up. You know, you should still keep trying different things and different methods and always just keep seeing, you know, what triggers your breakout, what improves it. And that's the thing, just because there's not a cure doesn't mean that you can't improve it. It just means that you might get a spot once a year. I don't really think that's a big deal. Everyone gets pimples, so it's fine, girl, it's fine. And this video does qualify for a banish giveaway. They, we are going to be giving away a Vanish kit with each video. All you have to do is answer this question that I'm about to ask right now. What is something that you've been told about acne that is false? All you have to do is answer in the comments below, um, like and subscribe to this channel, and you will be picked for a Vanish giveaway. Someone will be picked for a banish giveaway. I don't know who, but someone will. Okay. All right, guys, that is all for today. So thanks for sitting down and listening to me talk about the five acne myths and busting them. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks. There's a